and embrace the light. Be flexible culturally and firm militarily. Act unobtrusively, yet express enlightenment. Change and transform without fixation and attain the source of unity, thereby to respond without bias. This is called spiritual illumination. The round is sky, the square is earth. The sky is round and has no sides, so you cannot see its form. The earth is square and has no edge, so no one can look into its door. The sky nurtures creation without form. The earth develops growth without calculation. Who knows what is stored in the vastness of their totality? When people serve as militia in the same spirit as children doing something for their parents or older siblings, then the force of their power is like an avalanche. Who can withstand it? Having extensive territory and a large population is not enough to constitute strength. Having strong armor and sharp weapons is not enough to win victory. Having high walls and deep moats is not enough to ensure security. Having strict orders and penalties is not enough to be authoritative. Those who carry out policies conducive to destruction will perish, even if large. When a thousand people are of like mind, they gain the power of a thousand people. When ten thousand people are of different minds, then no one is really useful. Only when commanders, soldiers, officials and citizens operate as one body can they do battle in response to an opponent. So, go into action after strategy has been determined. Act once measures have been decided. When commanders have no dubious schemes, soldiers are not of two minds. There will be no signs of laxness in action or coarseness of speech, no tentativeness in operations. Response to opponents will be quick, deployment will be swift. So, the people are the body of the commanders, and the commanders are the heart of the people. If the heart is true, the limbs and body follow it closely. If the heart is suspicious, the limbs and body are out of control. If the heart is not single-minded, the body does not regulate its strength. If commanders are not sincere in their need, soldiers are not brave and bold. Those skilled at defense do not suppress anyone, and those skilled at war do not fight with anyone. As for those who understand the way of what to prohibit and what to allow, what to open and what to close, they ride the momentum of the times and use the desire of the people to take the world. When people follow orders sincerely, even if small in number, there is no fear. If people don't follow orders, even if large in number, they are as if few. Meet the excited with calm. Await the disturbed with control. Be formless so as to master the formal. Respond to change without contrivance. Then, even if you are unable to attain victory over opponents, opponents will have no way to attain victory over you. Anything that has form can be overcome. Anything that takes shape can be countered. This is why sages conceal their forms in nothingness and let their minds soar in the void.